David was anointed by Samuel when he was about in between 12 to 16 years old. But he wasn't appointed to be king by God until he was 30. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> David was anointed by Saul in between 12 to 16 years of age. But he wasn't appointed by God to be king until he was 30. You see, the reason he couldn't have his kingship at the time of his initial anointing is because he wasn't mature enough to handle it yet. Oh, my God, help me, help me, help me, help me. Uh, therefore, God had to take him through a maturing, a maturation and grooming process because he didn't want to see David make the same mistakes that Saul made. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? You see, the reason why things haven't taken off for you yet is because God is trying to make sure that you are ready to handle what he has to give you. And so what he has to do is take you through a maturing process. My God, he anoints you in one season and he lets you go through a season of not knowing what's going to happen next. And then he appoints you. One day you look up and bam, it just hits you. And everything that he promised, everything that he said he would do, everything that he had said he would do in your life just happened. Yes. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. What's this? With Saul, God anointed him and appointed him all at once. With David, God anoints him and then says, wait. Yes. Thank you, Lord. With Saul, God anoints him and appoints him all at once. With David, my God, God anoints him and says, wait. Yes. Hold on. You anointed and appointed Saul, but now you're going to anoint me and say, wait. Somebody say, wait. 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 Ooh, 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 ooh. The problem, watch this, David has with this is he knows that he's anointed, but the circumstances of his life have yet to catch up with his anointing. Oh my God, uh, help me. Yes, okay. He knows he's anointed, but the circumstances of his life have yet to catch up with his anointing. And, and this is where some of us are because we know that we have a purpose. We know that God has big things in store for us, but it's hard for us to ascertain, oh my God, why are our lives don't match what's in our heart? That's right. That's right. That's right. Lord, why is it that my life don't match the vision that I got. Mm, my God. Why is it, Lord God, that I got a big dream and I've got big expectations? Y'all just swat the thing, man, and kill it. Oh, God, help me up in here. Oh, God, let's get some raid out of your spirit and just spray it or something. Somebody hit that thing. Anyway, I, I, why is it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I got this dream? I, I got this vision, my God. My vision is so immense, but the resources I have are minor. And I'm struggling now, God, to understand why would you put so much in my spirit to do, That's right. but don't give me the resources to do it with. Right. Oh, Jesus, help me up in here. Help yes. me up in here. Oh, my God. And so it's a struggle for me to keep the faith when I don't see an end to this process I must go through. And, and when you are struggling with your faith, that's when you have to remind yourself that you're still anointed. Mm -hmm. I'm broke, but I'm still anointed. My God. Ooh, my God. I ain't got nothing, but I'm still anointed. Mm -hmm. Ah, my friends done left me, but I'm still anointed. My God, I don't know what's going on. I got lack and scarcity in my life. My God, but I'm still anointed. Things are frustrating to me, but I'm still anointed. I'm fighting on dead, head, dead situation, but I'm still anointed. Situations are starting to break down on me, but I'm still anointed. I don't know where I'm coming or going, but I'm still anointed. My God, when you're going through your struggle, when you're going through your pain, when you're going through your grief, that's when you got to remind yourself, though he slayed me, yet will I trust him all the days of my life. Will I wait until my appointed time of change? Yes, yes. Oh, man, I, I ain't got nothing, but I'm 
are still anointed. <laughs> Things ain't took off for me yet, but I'm still anointed. Oh God, I'm preaching to me. Oh God, things are crazy in my life, but I'm still anointed. Even though things are not happening for me, I still got the anointing. And as long as I got the anointing, some can jump off at any time. Yes. Yes. Man, I feel like preaching for a minute. Yes. Yes. Woo, something can pop up for me at any time. Man, you want to hang out with me because I'm telling you, as soon as God gets ready to utter my faith, as soon as God's getting ready to utter my faithfulness, as soon as God gets ready to utter my commitment, it can pop off at any time. And whoever's with me, when they pop off, they're going to get blessed soon. <laughs> and so now David is forced to live strictly by faith. And consequently, watch this. After Samuel anoints him, he never mentions anything about the anointing to be king again. Samuel comes into his life, anoints him, lays his hands on him, and says that you're going to be king. Samuel eats at his daddy's table. Because you know preachers going to eat. Samuel eats and walks off and never mentions it again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to anoint you. I'm going to appoint you. But I ain't going to say nothing to you about it no more. Mm -hmm. Why? 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 Because I I need you to live by faith. I don't need you to do what Saul did. I, I need you to live by faith. Watch this. There was no prophetic word spoken to David about his future. There, there was no declaration or proclamation about David's future. Oh, God. All David had was impartation. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man. Help me up here. No proclamation. No declaration. Just impartation. See, it's easy for people to like you and want to be around you when it's been proclaimed you're going to be great. That's right. But it's difficult for people to want to be around you when they don't know the greatness that's on you because all you have is impartation. That's right. No declaration, no proclamation, just impartation. Man, I, I, I don't preach by myself. Y'all write that down. Maybe one day one of y'all can preach that. Oh, God. And, and, and so watch this. I got news for somebody. The Lord will not always reveal to other people what's on your life. Amen, that's true. Amen. And very seldom will he show other people what his plans are for you. And that's why you have to be satisfied with knowing who you are. And you can't always look for someone else's affirmation. Amen, that's true. Amen. Oh, yeah. You, that's going to come up. When don't nobody see nothing good going on for you. They don't, they don't see no greatness on you. They don't see nothing powerful going on for you. You got to learn how to be satisfied, my God, with not having to have other people's affirmation on your life all the time. Amen. All right. <laughs> if other people don't see what God is doing in your life, then so be it. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't make people like you. You can't make people receive you. You can't make people accept you. You go on with your life and what you got to understand is is that you can't afford my God to get so caught up in trying to get other people's acknowledgement of you that it forces you to act out of character That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not that hard up right. I'm not that desperate right. I'm not that tripping now you know what I'm saying because I understand that I don't need to get so caught up in you trying to burn me that I start trying to get your attention. Amen. Oh my God. If you don't see the anointing on my life, that's fine. <laughs> if you don't want to sit me up front when I come to the, your church, that's fine. <laughs> oh my God. If, if you don't have a place for me, oh my God, that's fine. If you don't want to hang out with me, that's fine. I'm not going to act out of character just to get you to acknowledge me when God has already acknowledged 